last time on Up Close and Personal. Okay. That's alright. We're gonna take these guys out. There's only a few left, guys. Keep going. Hang on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Socks panic now. Run away! It's okay. Uh, chairborn. Airborne. As you were. Stun him. Thank you very much. Cha-cha. Come on. You have a primed one. It takes you 13 to throw. Throw to there. How did that other guy blow up? <laughs> Greetings and salutations. This is Ivan Dogovich, up close and personal with Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. In this 97th episode, we are remembering the valiant fight of Soldiers of Earth as they fought off the floater base assault. Yes, these fine soldiers from Soldiers of Earth. And I'll just mention this really quickly for any of my viewers that haven't uh, picked this up before. Soldiers of Earth is a role play run by uh, Thenlar, who has um, a game of... Long War, which is uh, XCOM Enemy Within Long War, and he plays it and has a number of dedicated individuals who are role-playing the soldiers within it. It's all posted on a great site called SoldiersOfEarth.com, and um, I, there's the Ivan Dogovich character there, who's a, who's a squad leader of Charlie Squad, and um, he does a great job. He puts the missions together in snapshot uh, screenshot uh, albums on Imgur and then the, the players role play out the missions and the interactions on the base anyway this base is modeled after them and I have gone through and named our soldiers because they were all incognito before so we have Thenlar, Ziv Adler who's a squad leader, Tom Rat Saunders who's uh, Ivan's second in command in Charlie Squad, Os Oliver Oscar who's another Charlie Squad member Medieval Man, who has a, a soldier in um, in the Charlie Squad and is also role-playing Ivan while I can't. Ryan Shepard, uh, Sarah Winters from Charlie Squad, Serena McIver, and Kelly Park from Char Charlie Squad. And uh, I want to take a quick look at the records after all of that goodness. Um, they got a, a, a Thedlar got one with a stun rod and they got their Defender Medal. Awesome work. Uh, Ziv got a Prowler Cross, his kills there. Let's take a look at the actual mission here, because this will give us the exact details. Soldier Floater, very nice. Tom got uh, nothing. <laughs> Tom, what are you doing? Slacking off? Check you out. Check you out. Uh, Oscar didn't account for anybody either. In, in fact, what happened is everybody will get a, a Service Medal and a Defender Medal. But what happened is many of the soldiers that actually... Uh, here. Many of the soldiers that actually did get kills ended up getting uh, killed themselves, so we've got people in the memorial as well. Uh, Floater Medic with high explosive from Medieval Man. Very nice work. Very nice work. Um, next, Ryan Shepard. How did you do? You didn't get anything that time around. Uh, Sarah Winters. Uh, nothing from you. Uh, Serena McIver. Nothing. I would have expected you to be a true killer. Whoa! Kelly Park. Look at that. High explosive. You got a floater soldier, a reaper soldier, and a human soldier. <laughs> a reaper terrorist, I mean. So with a high explosive, killed three. Nice work. And you got the crimson heart, purple heart, defender medal, and XCOM service medal. Very nice work. I believe this might have been shoes that dropped the high explosive at the end of the game, at uh, the end of the the episode, and ran away. Um, so, nice work there. Okay, let's take a look at the memorial. I believe Kelly's the last one. Yes. Uh, memorial. So here we have uh, Gary Schwarsch, who was undercover at the time. And your record, sir, you didn't get anything that time around. We have Lieutenant Sjur de Decourt who was uh, my assistant squad leader on Charlie for a while, actually running Delta Squad now, took care of Floater Leader, an Engineer, Reaper, all very nice, uh, before you perished, the Order of the Fallen, a, a Prowler Cross, and a Defender Medal, nice work, 
Nice work. Uh, Christopher Greyrock here. Let's see, did you get anything? Yes, you did. Look at that. Uh, navigator, a commander, and a soldier. You should be getting your bolts cross as well there. Nice work. And a prowler cross. Very nice work. Okay, and uh, Stephen Crawley. An NPC, uh, or actually a, another player from uh, from the Soldiers of Earth. We got uh, Floater Soldier, Reaper, uh, Floater Leader, and a Soldier. My word. Uh, unconscious. Look at that. Um, Bolts Cross, Prowler Cross, all of those um, juicy, juicy metals. Nice work, Steven. Daniel Vasquez, a Reaper Terrorist with high explosives. Nice work. Uh, Alex D made an appearance. He didn't get any kills though, unfortunately. So, but he did get his uh, his defender medal to to go with the defense there, and uh, that was it. That was it for our our troopers there in Soldiers of Earth. So we lost six soldiers, and we had um, nine valiant survivors. So good work, guys. This was a lot of fun. That was a crazy last episode, but a lot of fun. Okay. So there we are. I do want to make sure that I transfer out of here the blaster launcher. Did I do it already? I think I might have done it already. I did a little bit of work before the last episode. Is there anything to, to sell here? Well, I can sell the alien corpses. That's definitely for sure. I got some heavy plasmas to sell too. Okay, so let's do that. Let's sell that stuff off. Make a little bit of cash ola so we don't need any of these. We'll keep the alien grenades. Those are always handy. Don't need plasmas, heavy plasma, all that stuff. We should order some more pistol clips and more pistols, I would think. Gosh. Yeah, let's sell that jazz. And how is it that I sold all those? I would have thought that all these plasmas would have been more than that money, but yeah, I guess not. Okay, so let's purchase. I, I don't anticipate getting attacked here again, but I didn't anticipate it in the first place. Let's get him a little droid scout there. Let's get them more pistols because we were just way too few on pistols here. And we had way too few pistol clips too. It was interesting how many pistol shots it took to drop those, those bad guys that we had to deal with here. Let's get some more proxies. Good. Never have too many proxies. Never have too many high explosives. Definitely never have too many. And uh, let's grab some incendiaries too and some more stun rods. Good, 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 good. I don't think we need any Electro Flares. All right. Okay, so now that Soldiers of Earth is taken care of, do we have any soldiers here at Marvazier.com? Uh, we don't. We should probably hire some. All right, so let's get some soldiers and some equipment here because these guys may get attacked. Never know. It's possible. Let's get them a droid scout. Not eight. Gosh, what am I thinking? It's crazy. Just one of those is fine. One is fine. Oh, sure. Let's get them some knives. Get pistols for everybody two clips for everybody good good Ivan good and they can toss clips back and forth to each other if they run out um, smoke grenades for everybody grenades for everybody incendiary grenades for everybody two proxies for everybody and two high explosives for everybody and stun rods for everybody Oh, I like it. That's a good base defense right there. I like it. And just jumpsuits. Paper paper pajamas for you guys. Paper pajamas. All right, so we've got that. And over here in our base information our transfer, we've got the blaster launcher and bombs coming in 12 hours. We'll be able to research that. So that's going to break through a new, um, a new tool for us. So I'd like to get that cranking. Do I have anything else going on here in the in the globe but we have a grounded snake man we're not doing anything about it we've got one two three alien bases up at the moment and we're not going to put any more um XCOM bases down i'm pretty happy with our coverage because what we're waiting for is a an ethereal terror mission to pop over here so let's just kick this into fast forwarded motion oh yeah okay Engineers are getting to so let's just add those guys in there to whatever they're doing here motion scanners Sure, we can get a couple more guys on that because we're making money in fact I do like to watch that so this number should be going up. Yes, it is nice blaster bombs go to base Research whatever you are researching Pull everybody off excellent new project blaster launcher research all start project go 
Good. Excellent. Go. I love it. Large supply snake man alien base North America. Let us shoot that joker down. Where are you? You are there and you're coming up here. Okay, let's give you a little bit of faster time so we can catch up to you. All right, the improved flashbacks are good. Excellent. Excellent. Hmm. We do have a lot of them now. We need to equip those into the craft as well. Blaster packs? Do we have any materials for blaster packs? We got four blaster bombs. Good. Let's make those. We can always use more blaster packs. Uh, we're going to get a few more um, blaster bombs. We do. Oh, we just got them. Derp. Err, yeah. Nice one, Ivan. Okay. So we'll make those seven days to make well I guess yeah because we're said 21 we're only gonna make four so that'll all, that won't take as long battleship alien base they want to build an alien base in North America oh so this is the thing here I watched battle bunny shoot down a battleship with an Avenger I really um I really don't want to lose our only Avenger but I do want to shoot this down maybe we'll do that okay so this guy's coming over there and we've got a supply ship coming over here this guy will fly around and land we're definitely not gonna gonna take it on we should shoot it down though let's try shooting it down okay sub super come over here and shoot that guy and then we'll shoot down the other guy he's gonna come over to us anyway okay so you are there it's the supply ship and you can get a fast forward through this now. All right, that's done. And now, if you would select a new target, come over here because there's going to be a Snake Man battleship popping up here in a second. Okay. There he is. Intercept him with Sup Super. Okay. Now, I need to keep my finger on the abort button because I don't want to lose sup super so the disengage button is right here or there too all right come in at long range he can fire at us we can fire at him too so this red bar is our damage um i've got the um ah we did shoot it down excellent and no i don't want to play the mission okay cool We've got the setting turned on where we can um, send out damaged or under-fueled craft. If we look at SUP Super right now, I guess we have to go into the base. Base, go to base, equip craft, SUP Super. I thought there was a way that I could look at it. Okay, here we go. So his fuels, 85% and his uh, damage is 23%. We've, we can still launch them with with less than 100% fuel and less than a da uh, less than 100% in there. Um, we can still launch them when the damage is what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah, go to base. Go return. Okay, we are researching the blaster pack. Let's get this time rolling. All the items are going to wherever we ask them to go to. Did we order some new soldiers at Soldiers of Earth? I think we did. Let's, let's go here. Uh, let us look at base information and transfers. Oh, we didn't. Let's order some more soldiers because, well, we could get attacked. We've got nine soldiers there. Uh, purchase recruit, get another 10. Excellent. Do we have enough stuff there pistol-wise for that many? Sure, why not? Okay, good, 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 good. Quicklier. All right. Large, tear ship, ethereal. Central Asia. Oh my gosh. So now here's the deal. I can shoot this down and we can fight them in a crash site at a tear ship. I'm thinking of what that all looks like. It's got an internal elevator shaft inside the middle area. That elevator can be nasty. Oh, we've lost guys in those before from grenades being tossed down. The other thing we could do is we could fight it in a terror site. Ah, we should probably do that. So who knows what sort of horrible terrain we could get. I did not remove the commercial zone uh, where we fought the mutons. 
I did not remove that again. So this is going to Central Asia? Yeah, Central Asia. So he's kind of coming this way. Um, Sup Super should have long enough legs to be able to get there. Yeah, so I'm going to um, equip Sup Super really quick. Actually, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna equip up super. I'll be back. It'll be ready to go, um, and we'll see what happens. I'm not sure that this is the actual round that they will do a terror mission on. Um, yeah, we'll we will find out though. We'll watch it. So uh, hang on. I'm gonna be right back uh, after equipping the craft. Okay, I have equipped uh, sub super. And um, I will kind of watch to see what this mission, how this mission happens. It might very well be a night mission. I don't know that we have enough craft to stall it. We can try that though. Definitely don't mind trying to stall this mission. All right, let's give you some more quicker time here. We should be picking him up again in this area. There he is. Coming in through Northern Europe, um, I guess all I need to do is wait and see if a terror mission pops. So let's just let him zoom around. He's looking for a site, cruising around, and he's gone. Okay, so that was the first path. So next time we see these guys, they should be out there. Okay, so we have finished our blaster pack. Uh, medkits. I wanted to make some more medkits. I feel a little low on medkits here. Uh, start production. Put all you guys on it. Let's make a few more. We'll send some more around. Uh, yeah, because we didn't get those in our other bases. Actually, yeah, there's one other thing I wanted to do here. Transfer out. Were they here? What did I make over here? Um, zappers. More zappers. Yeah, let's send some more zappers over there. Put some more on the craft. Yeah, that'll be fine. I don't really think we need to send them to... Yeah, we'll send all of those. Zappers, we had made some. Uh, alien knowledge doesn't look like we have extra armors here. Med kits. Yeah, we could make some more med kits here too. Uh, dark clip C. We need to send that out. Let's send that down to, um, send it down to southeast just in case. Actually, we, we need these guys here too. We need this stuff here because we've been getting a lot of alien infiltration, uh, attempts here. And our soldiers, we've got a bunch of rookies here. That could go well. Okay, let's give them some more time. Let's get this time going. Crank it up. Alien infiltration, sectoid North America. I don't know why they keep wanting to... Um, why they keep wanting to... Infiltrate North America when they're obviously not going to get any get anywhere with that. Well, I say that, but then... Yeah, they will. Okay, go up there, target it, and shoot it down, please. There it goes. Zapper's good. Okay, and shoot him down. Okay, we destroyed it. Good work. Okay. All of our stuff is getting to where it has gone. Marbzier.com, and there, good. Okay. We've got more soldiers. We've got more stuff. Here's our new soldiers coming in to Soldiers of Earth. Good. All right. Our end of month. There we go. Canada has withdrawn. Finally. That's the infiltrations that have been happening in North America. Good monthly rating. Oh, I forgot to sell all my scientists, I think. Or maybe I did. I know I had a, I had a note. Um, everybody is pretty happy, but Canada left us. Punks end. I would suppose that's going to give us another... Oh, jeez. Order of the Hammers bugged again. We're getting a bunch of uh, bugged medals there. The XCOM service medals and longevity medals are all good. Okay. Um, yeah, but the Order of the Hammer is a, is a bugged award at this time, unfortunately. 
unfortunately. It's the award that you get from uh, killing a soldier of every alien race. Okay, so, um, yeah, there we go. We've got a second alien base now in North America. This is, doesn't tell us, actually. I think it's a snake man base. It may be another sectoid base, but um, we're not going to take it on. We're not going to worry about it. Just not going to worry about it. What I wanted to check, oh, yes, my bases, and did I leave the lab up? Oh, right, I removed the lab. And, oh good, I did solve the scientist. Yay, I remembered something. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> good one, I did. Good one. Okay, but that doesn't matter because we're still waiting for the ethereal mission. Alien Terror, Muton, South Africa, Medium Scout, uh, center on him. Alien Retaliation, Southern Africa, Small Scout. Okay, Sector and Supplies, <laughs> North America. They all want to come at once. You guys, what? You can't stage your missions anywhere else? Hmm. I think Shoes can shoot these down. Shoes, this is all you, buddy. You get that guy. Right. And then shoot him down. Nice. Now, intercept this guy. Good. Shoot him down. Good. Okay, you can go back to base. Where's our other joker here? Alien supply. There must be another alien base. Um sub super shoot him. Okay, let's let's track him. Let's track him. Okay, minimize. Ah, there's an alien base over there, too. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Patrol. Yeah, patrol. Okay. There it is. A three alien bases. North America, stop. Can you catch him? Uh, select new target. Go to that guy. Okay. Can we catch him? Uh, another sectoid supply. Right, well... Looks like Sub Super's gonna be busy for a while. Go catch him, shoot him. Oh, he left the atmosphere. Select new target. This guy over here. Well, at least shoot this one down. Redirect left. Come to here. See if we can get him. Okay. Ah. Intercept with Sub Super. That guy. Okay. And shoot him down. No mission, thank you very much. How is our Lyrium doing here? Let us check our base information and our stores. Lyrium, okay, we got plenty. I was maybe worrying that flying around our our uh, Avenger might cause us to run out of Lyrium. Abductor floater, South America, alien abduction. Hmm, intercept with Briar. Okay. All right, it's gonna be a stern chase probably because he's gonna fly faster than we do. That's fine. Uh, floater abduction, South America, another one, huh? They just all want to do it. All right, shoes. You get that guy. No, shoes. Get select new target. That guy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, go quicker, see where they're going, okay, select new target, come over here, okay, we'll catch up to them, there he is, intercept him with shoes, okay, good, catch him and shoot him down, please, we won't play that guy either, but we will shoot him down, okay, good, and Briar, can you get this guy before Shoes does? I doubt it. Let's check it out, though. Let's check it out. Shoes should be faster than you. Yep, he is. Shoes does have short legs, though. We discovered that already. Okay. And there we go. Go home. 
Supply North, uh, Supply Southern Africa. Intercept you with shoes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't. I think shoes are gonna lose in there. So shoes. Select new target. Come to here. Okay, and wait for him to pop. Because he's gonna go off radar about here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, geez, you ran out of you ran out of fuel. Okay. Well, these guys are gonna get in and get out. Okay. And bye. More quicklier into the second of October. Battleship alien retaliation. North America, I don't want them to take on our base. Fortunately, it looks like he's missed us. Sub Super, let's go ahead and put a little more pounding on this guy, and let's get let's get uh, Briar on him too. We'll do a dual intercept. We will do a dual intercept here. He's looking for our base, but he hasn't found it yet. Okay. Come on, Briar, you can catch him. He's gonna double back. There we go. Okay, so let's get both of these guys here. We will engage with Sub Super first and engage with Briar. Uh. Okay, took him down. <laughs> no, no crash lights. Thank you very much. Yeah, Sub Super's getting pretty pounded, but I think it's probably worth it. Probably with blaster launcher, yes. Okay, so this is the amazing 200 power ex high explosive guided missile that we're never gonna use. Alien guided missile launcher, which fires blaster bombs. When you click to fire, it will generate waypoints for the bomb to follow you. When you've positioned enough waypoints, click on the special launch icon. So these are super uber powerful, and in our up close series, we don't use them, but we can. We can research the fusion torch. Allocate research. We want to do a fusion torch because it's a cool mod and I've not got to try it yet because I've sold off of my blaster launchers. Wasn't very smart. Okay, good. Get moving. Small going after some more just intercepts here. All right, we're going to shoot this one guy down. And then we're going to call it an episode here. We know that the Ethereals have made one pass. Uh, Snake Man, Battleship, Alien Retaliation, and Central Asia. We're going to leave this guy alone. We may get another. He may actually find our base. He may find this base right here. And we may have uh, another base defense mission next episode. Let's speed up and find out. Central Asia, that's that guy, yes. Whew! He just missed us, but they will find us. Dog out. Well, we do have a mind shield. That might help us. I don't know that. I don't know. They do have a good chance of finding you, nonetheless. They still could find you. I don't know that he will find it, and even if he did find it, it may be the next mission that would attack it. But we will call this an episode right here, folks. We're getting closer to our final battles. I do want to thank you for joining me for episode 97 of Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. You have been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich, and we'll see you again with episode 98 of Up Close and Personal. Cheers! <laughs>